Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to Socks Will Show Market Review of the QQQs. May do a review to this evening of the SPY as well. But for right now, this afternoon, I want to go over the QQQs because I'm actually long this today. Unusual for me to be long the market or short the market, doing anything with the market because I usually play stocks or companies that gap. I'm in an ETF today. And the reason is because I knew today the play was long. The play was long today. There was no uh, bearish gaps that I was enthralled with today. And then a week before a holiday, you're, um, you have to be very picky with what you do. Extremely picky with what you do. Unbelievably picky, okay? You're, you're better off on these times of the year to not trade unless something is good. Again, this is where the conviction helps you. And this whole market, it just screams conviction. There's a big lesson for people to be learned with this market, which is what? you got to have the right information. You have to have the right knowledge base. If you don't have the right information and the right knowledge base, then you won't be able to trade successfully for any length of time. And what I find that people lack is conviction in what they're doing because they don't have the knowledge base. What I teach people in my Golden Gap class is knowledge. That knowledge gives you the conviction to take the risk in the market to take the trades. Now, once you have the knowledge, you still have to get the conviction. The conviction comes from the knowledge, though. That's how you make a decision coupled with action. Decision with action produces results. The problem is that many, many people lack conviction in anything that they're doing on a strategic level because they don't have a strategy or don't understand what to do. And therefore, when the wind blows by and says the market is falling or crashing or doing anything, they want to go with that wind. And if the wind blows by in a different direction, they go with that wind. And then there's 20 other things that happen, and then you're all over the place, and you're going long and short the market, and you don't know what to do, and you have zero conviction. You actually have negative conviction. Because you could, you could have negative conviction, actually. Anyways, the reality is, though, that the market's still higher. And the QQQs, this counts as a hold. This is holding. This will hold today. I did think this would hold. I never said in any video that the market couldn't come down in here the way this did in here and still hold. I said the market could come down, and if it holds, it's still higher and still will make a new high. Did I think it would come down in the last week? No. Does it matter for the overall look of the market? No. Why? Because there's nothing bearish in here in any trading action that signifies to me a change of control. Now listen to what I'm saying. This is actually important. And I review this today in the room, which is one of the reasons why it is so great for people to be in the room. Uh, and you miss a lot if you did the class and you're not in the room because I talk about stuff in live time. But you learn enough in the class to trade on your own. But stuff like I talk about today is extra stuff, extra teaching above and beyond it. The control in the market here is bullish. There is not a change of control to make the market bearish. Now, could you have shorted the market for a short-term period here and made money to the downside? Yes. Was that the right thing to do, though? No. Why? Because who's in control? The bulls are in control of the market. The market's bullish. There is not a change of control that took place in the drop-down that happened in the last week. Could you have shorted that and made money? Yes. Yes, you could have. But is that the right way to trade? No, no, it's not. Because any day that happened in here in the last week may not have played out that way. And you could not have determined with 100% conviction that it would have come down the way it did. Because not everything has to pull into support. That is wrong, okay? And any morning that you got up, the market could have gapped up and taken you out and continued to go higher. Just like it did over here. So the reality is that it's not a good trade. It's not a quality trade to be short this market because the control is still on the side of the bulls. There's no change of control here to go from bullish to bearish. And it's just not going to happen. Okay? How do I know? Because of the knowledge that I have in gaps. Because of the fact that I know how to read price action. That's how I knew the market here was along today. Immediately. Immediately. Okay, I saw the market was along today. And I knew this morning, actually, that the play was long. And I was trying to find a good bullish gap. I just couldn't find anything that I liked. Uh, but the reality is that this market is higher, still setting up to make a new high before the end of the calendar year, which is in less than two weeks, and 
still seeing the playthrough for 2015 to be an incredibly bullish year in the market. And the market is going to go to some numbers in 2015 that no one's expecting. Numbers that I'm calling here for the longer term trades for the rally. Target today for the market is 102, 102 50, 103. Dream target in the market today if it rallies is 104. I'm not saying it gets there. Even 103 would be a really great target for the market today. 102 is realistic and should get there by the lunchtime period, only 60 cents away. So the reality is that when you choose, okay, to short a market like this, which people are doing because they have a belief system that the market's going to crash, and the belief system comes from the fact that they believe that the market is extended. If that's your strategic reason for doing this, because you're trying to pick a top, you can take a trade and make money having shorted the market in the last week, but it's not going to have any follow-through, and it doesn't have any follow-through, and it will not have any follow-through, and there isn't a change of control. And in any day that you're short the market overnight and you get up, you could be completely blown out of it. And that has happened. It's happened to play that already. So it's the play in here is long because the market's higher, and the market isn't going to crash. And there's no justified, knowledgeable, credible reason for anyone to be calling this market to crash. The only reason people are saying that is because they're saying they think they believe the market's extended, but it's not extended. There's nothing here actually that is showing extension to me. People misread even price action when they see extension. People don't know how to read it. And why, 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 why? Because people are focusing on the wrong information. How am I able to call this like this? Because I'm focusing on the right information and it's in the price action of the gaps. And I know when something is bullish and I know when something is bearish and I can tell who's in control. And I can tell who's in control, which tells me where the power of money is. And the power of money is what moves stocks in the market. And the power of money lifted the market today, will carry the market over the high again, and will lift the market in 2015 unless I see something that changes that, which I do not see, which is not here now. I cannot possibly call this anything in here. Nothing looks like a crash. Nothing looks anything like a crash in here is going to happen. And nothing looks like a top. Okay? And there is no such thing as a top anyways because that's not a strategy. There, there's no strategy. There's no strategy. The strategy that I train is gaps. Okay? So I read the gap down today to hold. The market is bullish. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to hit up over 102. It's going to fly over that. 102.50, here it goes. Here this market goes, right here. This is bullish activity. This is buying that's lifting the market. The market would not be doing this on a gap down unless the market was being bought. And that's the other thing where this, this is real skill to read this whole market here that's still higher. Real skill and it's skill that I have. It's a skill that I have that you can learn from me. You can learn this from me. I teach a class. The... When if you if you don't if you don't if you are so if you don't have conviction if you don't know the right knowledge you'll be swayed by anything that happens one red bar you think the market's crashing one video you watch on TV you think the market's crashing you then you watch ten and you really think the market's going to come in you 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 know the knowledge that I focus on I stay true to I I'm in integrity with what I know. And that's how I make the calls and follow through, and I don't get swayed by something like this. Could I have jumped on the bag rank with everyone else that the market's going to crash? Yes. Could I have said it in here? Yes. Did I say it in here? No. I said the market's going to hold, going to hold, going to hold, going to make a new high, and it did. I'm saying in here the market's going to hold, going to hold, going to hold, and make a new high, and it's going to. I know how to read price action in charts and the market, and that's how I'm calling these things before they happen, and I'm seeing the follow through. The control is on the side of the bulls. That's how I know the market is higher. If I see a change of control, I will know it in the moment. But that's not happening here. And so it's not. But I think one of the things that traders struggle with is they don't know what to do. So they are easily swayed. They don't know what to do. Why? They don't have the right knowledge base or information of what they're supposed to be reading. But you get that from me if you take my class. That knowledge gives you the conviction, okay? And my heightened conviction and intuition 
which I focus on and stay true to, allows me to see things far into the future and in advance, and I'm continuing to do so. And that's how I'm calling the market to hit some of these numbers that it's never reached. That's how I'm calling stocks to do things that no one else is. That's how I'm calling the entries and I'm calling, I'm calling entries and things in the first couple minutes of the day before it's even set the trend of the day. And I'm calling and entering in something and I can determine the directional bias of what a stock of the market's going to do in the first five minutes of the day before it's even done anything or set even in a one minute trend. How am I able to do that? How am I able to do that? I'm able to do that because I'm reading the gap. I'm reading the gap. I'm reading the price action of the gap. Bullish, bearish. If it's going to have buying, selling, shorting, I'm reading it. And you can learn how to do this from me. Many, many people train unsuccessfully because they have a lack of conviction in what to do. No strategy. Don't know how to read control and are swayed by many things that are out there that are false. And many, many things are out there that people are guessing, like guessing that the market's going to crash. So everything still looks fine. Market didn't have to come down to this level, but it did. Market is holding this level, and it will. Market will rally today. 102 is the first number. It's absolutely going to get there, 100% conviction, and we'll see where it goes from there. Probably a 50% retracement of the bar from yesterday at the very least, which will be 102.25-ish or thereabouts. And... A lot of people think the market's coming all the way down here. A lot of people think the market's crashing. A lot of people are short this market. And I said, the shorts aren't going to give up on shorting this market. Even if it makes a new high, people will short it. But the shorts aren't going to give it up until way into 2015. Like, it could be the summer even. The summer. The summer of 2000. It could, it could be the summer of 2015 before the shorts give it up and stop trying to short the market. Literally which is so long away. And they'll have missed all the opportunity to buy in here if they don't go long, people. Who controls the market power and money? Power and money controls the market. Power and money controls stocks. They sell things, they buy things, they short. You have to know what to read to do in the live day if you want to make money as a day trader. And if you want to make money as a swing trader, core trader, you still have to know what to do. You have a little bit more time to think about it, but you still have to know what to do. And actually, more time to think about something doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see it any clearer or any better. Because sometimes people take a long time to think about something that can't be even make a decision. If the wind blows by you and it changes your mind and sways your decision on something, you have zero conviction or negative conviction and you will not be successful as a trader. You've got to have the right knowledge base. I teach that in the Golden Gap class. And on top of that, I'm teaching people how to have conviction and by golly I have conviction the market's higher and the market is higher and this is an amazing call and a great call and it is going to happen and play out and the reason I know this is because I am in touch with what is happening in the price action in the market and I know how to read it and I stay true to myself and I'm not swaying when the wind blows by me and everyone in the planet says the market's going to crash and it's not higher. I know that that's not true and I'm staying true to myself and I read it every day and I double check what the information, the knowledge, the reading, the price, the price action, the gaps. And as long as I see everything the way that I've been seeing it and give me the confirmation, I know that it's going to continue to play out this way. And if I see something different, I will absolutely say it because I'm honest with myself and my reading. And again, in reference to my business model, if I thought the market was going to crash, I'd tell everyone in the world to short because I love to short myself. But this market's along. I'm on the market today, and it has the potential to go to the dream target. And here we go. We're heading up to 102. So if you're interested in them taking the next Golden Gap class, it's in January. January 2015. There's no more classes this year, but I am running some specials between now and the end of the year. If you do want to sign up for the Golden Gap class in January and pre-register, I'm offering some specials. So check the emails this week. Email me if you want to know them. Okay. Melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone. Have a fantastic day. And learn how to trade and learn the right knowledge so you can have conviction in what you do. It's the only way you will consistently make money as any kind of trader. Have a great day.